Cheers, everybody. All right, today we're gonna to talk about house concerts. We're gonna talk about three things. What is a house concert? Why are they so freaking great? How to book a house concert or how to be booked for a house concert. Strictly in terms of live music, there's technically two. There's a house party and a house concert. Now, a house party, you're probably pretty familiar with. It's just a party at a house where there's live music. Now, in this circumstance, live music is like a secondary thing. The party is the number one reason that you're there, whether it's a birthday party or an event. The music is a secondary part. It's not the main focus, but it elevates the event and it makes it super cool. In a house concert, the music is generally the feature event. It's the main reason that people are there. In my experience, a house concert is beautiful. It is the most intimate setting. It's usually between like 20 people to 100 people. And generally everybody knows each other or everybody's a friend of a friend. It's, it's quite close and really kind of relaxed. Where a house party is usually full of covers music, upbeat and kind of really sort of party atmosphere, a house concert can have those things, but is generally more of an original music base where an artist or a musician can explore their fan base, take some requests, some original content requests, and even perform songs that aren't released or that they're working on. Okay, the best things about a house concert. You actually get to meet some of the most amazing people and make lifelong fans and friend connections. I still have people that every time they come through Nashville, we catch up for dinner or coffee, or I go and see them at their family residence in Wisconsin or New Jersey or whatever. And it doesn't have to be revolved around a show of mine. And they've just become close and part of my life. And I absolutely love it. And I wouldn't have been able to do that if it wasn't for a good house concert. Furthering that, you get to travel to new places. Being from Australia, I live in Nashville, Tennessee in the US. And if it wasn't for house concerts or for my work for being a musician, I wouldn't have been to the 38 states or thereabouts that I have actually been to. And it's incredible. The best thing about that too is when you go to a state to somebody's house, you're not just driving from the airport to downtown. You know, you're going through the suburbs and you're checking out the place for what it is. And if you're like me and like a little golf or a little pickleball, you can fly in early and sometimes you get lucky enough to, to play around a round of golf with the host or to actually hang out a little more at their house, have a coffee, have an early beer and, uh, and really get to know the place and the people. Because of these things, you actually broaden your story and your artistry since it's a new setting every single time. If you kept playing in the same pub or in the same stage, same venue, same location, you kind of get stale and you kind of go through the motions a lot. Whereas if you're constantly changing your location, your setting, your audience, your fans, and you can call on that when you're writing songs or when you're on stage and telling stories, it's just a little more captivating. Okay, finally, how to book a house show or how to be booked for a house show if you're a musician. Firstly, if you're an artist who's interested in playing some house concerts, you need four things minimum. You need equipment for the show. And that doesn't mean just your guitar. That means you need speakers and a little PA system or some kind of amp that you can bring to the performance so it's kind of a turnkey operation. You don't really wanna be asking hosts to provide you with production and audio equipment. You want them to say, hey, come out, I'll carve a space for you and you set up everything that you need for the show. Number two, somewhere on your website or socials, you have to have info and a place that they can contact you to ask about house concerts. <laughs> it needs to be obvious that you play them or that you offer that as an option. Number three, you have to have a unique and engaging set. I mean, it sounds kind of obvious when you think of it, but the last thing that you want is to be in this beautiful setting in somebody's lounge room or living room or, or deck or something and kind of just be doing the same thing as you do down the pub. Sometimes that's great, but sometimes, you know, people want that little bit more of an interaction with you. You know, they might see you play the same songs down at the local bar, but when they get you to their house, they want to engage with you on a kind of a deeper level. They want to know who you are and they want to hear songs that you're influenced by and maybe some songs that you've written that you might not have put out. So by having an engaging set, you're going to ensure that they're going to book you again or their friends will book you or that each time they have that event, it's going to be a little different. It's going to be nice. So make sure your set's kind of engaging and interesting. And number four, finally, you need to have at least an idea of a price point. Most of the time, people's fee can vary depending on the day of the week, uh, whether it's booked far in advance or if it's next weekend. Um, all of those things can vary, but you need to have an idea or at least a ballpark of your price point, even just a list or something that you can reference. That's kind of ideal. And finally, if you're interested in booking a house concert or booking someone for a house concert, if I haven't given you the information here, 
definitely ask me a question below. Just type in the comments or send me an email or DM, whatever. But generally, the easiest place to start is to find an artist that you're interested in booking. Send them an email or a DM on any of the social media platforms and often check a website. Most people skip an artist's website, but it might be right there. Check your artist's website and see if they actually play house concerts. They might mention it there. They might have a booking form that you can fill in. Of course, when you go and do this, it's really important to have a few things in mind, a rough date range or a specific date and a general idea of a budget that you might have. Even if you're not sure how much it's gonna cost and you're just fishing for a price, if you have a rough figure in mind, sometimes it's nice to communicate that to the artist because they might be able to work with you on your budget. I should also say there are some minimum requirements that the guest needs to provide. Number one, a flat surface with power nearby. This is weirdly overlooked. I mean, I've set up so many times on a sloped piece of grass, and while sometimes it's not that big a deal, more often than not, it's just annoying. Pedals get kind of covered in dirt and grass and whatever, and then also speaker stands, you know, when they're on the sort of angle, it's just, it just doesn't look good. Number two, this space must be covered or at least shaded. And also, side note, a little wet weather plan doesn't go astray too. If you even just have something where it's, okay, if it rains, we're all just gonna cram in the kitchen. That's fine. If you have a plan, chances are you won't need to use it. This might sound diva of me, I guess, but twice I've refused to start playing until we get some kind of shade over me. If I'm gonna play like a two hour set standing in direct sunlight, not only am I gonna get crazy burnt because I can't turn around from the microphone, but my guitar's never gonna stay in tune and my pedals are gonna overheat in about 30 minutes. To me, it doesn't seem too crazy to ask, but definitely if you're hosting a show, have some kind of a shaded area, even if it's just a beach umbrella or something. Otherwise, sunburn and pedal pops, PA system shutting down, it's probably not gonna be the greatest show. <laughs> And finally, just a good group of friends or family that you can invite. It could be neighbors, it can be a block party. It's often a really great opportunity to meet some people in your neighborhood or meet some friends of friends who might already follow that artist or be really interested in listening to live music. Cheers, everybody. That'll do for now. Hit me up in the comments if there's anything I missed out or what you think about house concerts, if you've played them, if you've hosted them. I would love to know more. And uh, if you don't already, please follow me, like, subscribe, do all the things to be able to keep me keeping this content coming out to you. Thank you.